Not knowing when a seizure might happen is difficult. The analogy that I use is that it's like having the stove on at home. It's just this level of awareness that you always have to have whenever you're out and about, whenever you're doing something that other people don't have to have. It's like this responsibility that is always with you. I have had to cancel travel plans in the past. I've had to cancel events in the past because um, you don't know when a seizure is going to happen. You don't know what week is going to be bad, what day is going to be bad, and um, it'll happen and it doesn't matter what's happening that day. That's the day you're gonna have a seizure and you will have to cancel what's happening that day. For uncontrolled epilepsy sufferers like Gigi, unfortunately there's no crystal ball to reveal when seizures are going to occur. But new research from the University of Melbourne has resulted in the next best thing. We all know about circadian or daily rhythms that govern everything in our body from when we sleep and feel hungry and so on. And it turns out that we might also have these longer rhythms across many days and it is governing seizure risk in people with epilepsy. By analysing the brain activity, heart rates and seizure diaries of thousands of patients, biomedical engineer Dr Pip Caroli has found that seizures aren't so unpredictable after all. In fact, with enough information, they can be forecast just like the weather. We're really at the tip of the iceberg in understanding which factors affect these longer rhythms of people's seizures. The involvement of heart rate suggests there's some autonomic activation or stress that plays an important role, but many other factors from sleep to diet to hormones may also affect longer cycles. The main finding of our research into seizure cycles has been that they're very common for people with epilepsy of all ages, of all different types of epilepsy. However, they're very individual and, and specific to each person. So everyone will have a slightly different seizure cycle. So you really need personalised data to be able to build up a pattern of their seizures and generate a forecast for them. With this in mind, Pip has worked with medical technology company SEER to develop a life-changing new app. People with epilepsy use the app to input data about their seizures, other triggers and, and other kinds of data that all go into informing their future seizure risk. From there, they are able to visualise future days, hours or, or even periods up to weeks and months in advance when they're at higher and lower risk of seizures. Once I started putting in more seizures, I certainly started to see it linking up in terms of like, this is a bad four days or this is a bad five days. And then that would be like kind of when I have a cluster of seizures and that's when I'll make sure I'm working from home so that if I have any seizures, I'm at home and I can still do my work and um, be safe. So the risk forecasting feature is currently enabled for around a thousand users all around the world. One of our users has a very strong 40 day cycle and he's had a 30 year journey trying to get treatment for his seizures. And in the end, being able to track his own seizure cycles in the app, he has said that has really helped him to feel like he's able to cope with it. And he told me the other day that he had looked at the app and used it to schedule a visit from his grandchildren. In future, I would love to see seizure risk forecasting be really integrated in how we manage epilepsy right from the diagnosis through to eventual treatment pathways. And I'm also quite sure that tracking seizure cycles and tracking cycles in epilepsy is just the start of how we understand longer term rhythms across a whole range of diseases and conditions. The more technology and the more research that we do to help people with epilepsy, which is a super common disorder, the better. And it's really exciting to have options and to have things that help people be in control of their lives like everyone else. <laughs>